there's an inside the window jam and then around we can sand all that off. And I want to go up to this that part because I really don't know where exactly the hood stops on the car. So I went ahead and taped it off. We're ready to paint. I bad taped it with paper. We're not gonna get a lot of overspray, so I don't care about this. Okay, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna walk down, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm going to paint all the little pieces at the same time, but these are going to be painted orange, so we're painting two different colors. Okay, this is orange, and the top of the firewall is going to, firewall is, and I'm also going to put sealer on that, okay, and seal it down, so, uh, let me get that done. Now that's my own mix orange. We're going to use, we're using the same color orange on this as we're using on our 66 Chevelle, so, there you go. And the color that we're using on our yellow, it's called Lamborghini Yellow. Okay? Now, uh, we also use PPG Deltron 2000 PPG. That's all I use as far as paint goes. Okay, I do use a variance in clears, but as far as the base coat paint itself goes, no, that's all I use. This is a tri-state paint, so it takes two different colors to make this yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what, uh, what it is. Now, this is actually the base coat, okay? And you're gonna look at this color and you're gonna say there's no fucking way that that would actually be super bright yellow. So if you look at that, as I'm mixing it, I don't want any to spill out of the can. That's actually an orange base, okay? It's like a pastel orange base. So, you first you do, the first thing you do with this color is you go ahead and you go ahead and paint, apply this color to your apple. Then, once that's dry, okay, see, that's actually a pukey green and all the pearl isn't even mixed up in it, so that's gonna take us a little while. If you look right there, you can see the pearl that I still have to mix up in it. Okay, and that's probably white pearl. Let's just get a gander. Yeah, look real close, you can see that that's white pearl. So, we're gonna go ahead and mix that up and I'll get that mixed up Pearl actually makes us pretty quick. But uh, anyway, blah, 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 let's sit here and fuck off all day. You get the idea, you're gonna see what it looks like when we're done. So, uh, ooh, it's about $50 in paint. All right, if you look right there, you'll see I got the base coat on the uh, firewall. And you can see what I was talking about. I didn't have the paint mixed thoroughly last time, but it's kind of a yellowish, orangish, pastel orange color, so. That's our base coat now. You're gonna really, really be surprised how bright this thing is uh, once we get the tri-stage on it. I put two, I put one uh, thing. And this is the paint that actually matters. Okay, it's very important that you go ahead and mix that paint, and if you look at it, it's a pukey. It looks almost, but it's clear when you pull it out, see? And if you look right there, you can see trash on the stick. Okay, there's a good example why you should always use, let me get that out, a good strainer, okay, to strain your paint out to make sure that you don't have trash in your paint. So that is actually the yellow, okay, the greenish yellow that's going to go on top of our orange, okay, base, which is basically that color right there, okay, and you're really, really going to be surprised. Now. That's the paint that you have to remember to mix. That's the one that you have to remember how many coats you put on and how thick it is. Do not forget that or your car is going to look like Uno, Dos, Tres, Cuatro, Cinco and the rest of every fucking uh, color shade that you can imagine. Now, we got all our orange pieces painted but we had a little situation. We had a problem. Okay, the paint started peeling off. If you look real close. Okay, it's peeling off, and that's because these pieces were painted with spray paint. So what I'll have to do, I stopped right there, that was the second coat. I've got almost four coats of paint on that because uh, being the dumbass and getting in a hurry that I was doing, I forgot to put the white base coat on those. And uh, when you're doing these real, real bright colors like this, it's very important to put a white base coat. So. Uh, orange will pop out, so I have to put almost seven coats of paint on that. It's very important to use your white base coat, okay? Now, we will be stripping that down and getting all that off down to bare aluminum and starting over, so we'll leave that alone. These are ready to color uh, clear coat. I'll do that, 
after I do the orange. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do, I got to go ahead and put the uh, candy apple, whatever you wanna call it, in the uh, tri stage color. I gotta go ahead and put that on here. Gonna... There, there's the firewall. And uh, we're gonna leave that alone. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna let that dry, that's one coat, okay? Uh, we're gonna put three coats on it and it's gonna even look better than it is now. We'll get a good look at it. This color and the orange that I mixed up is gonna go awesomely awesome together. I might go ahead and put some Prismatic Pearl in the yellow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call uh, California Larry on that and get his idea and see what he says. So, this little uh, episode of painting the firewall that's turned out to be a long episode, but it's a worthwhile episode. Let's get it done. We'll be back. Talk to you later. And always remember, don't give up. Don't quit. Think positive, and you will get it done. Okay? Whether you can think you can do it or not, always think positive, and you will be able to do it. Take it easy. This is Pete. We'll see you later. So we'll be back. This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. That's Bruno, and we're always here, right? So take it easy, have fun, and enjoy what you're doing. See you later.